Hi guys, this is Nitish Kathuria and I am here to display you about my project which I have developed using React. Okay. In this project, I have developed a habit tracker where the users can track their habits, add the new habit or can delete their habit as well. Okay. So let's go through the demo of my project first and then we will understand how I approach this problem. Okay. So you can see there are two routes, home and dashboard. Dashboard is for tracking all your habits and home is for adding a new habit there is a button adding a habit when you click on it a form will appear the first input we will we need to add the habit there and the second input we will need to category right fitness or anything you like so let's say i am adding a walking my habit okay uh, it is in a category of fitness let's try to add the habit yeah it's added okay it is showing the category is fitness count is 0 out of 7 and uh, this is the delete button icon when you click on it the habit will be deleted you can click on see details button okay when you click on the see details button it will take you a different route where you can the details of your habit there are two icons this is for completing the particular habit on that particular day and this is for not completing the particular uh, habit on that day when you click on it it will be completed when you click on it null it will not be completed okay so these are all the six days where you can also change the habit of that particular day okay and this is the today means sunday 9 11 2022 okay so when you go to dashboard again you will see we <clears throat> the count has been increased by two because you have completed your habit for two days out of seven okay great so let's try to add another habit mm. whoa I'm jogging uh, it is in also in the fitness you can see the new habit is also added you can also check the details you can also uh, click whether it is done on a that particular day or not okay you can make it also null like this and you go to the dashboard you can also see the count or let's increase it by one also let's click on it now it is showing three great if you want to delete you can click on the delete button icon it will be deleted okay like that so <clears throat> that is my happy tracker demo let's go to the, to the code and check it out how I approach this problem. This is my app.js file. Here I am using the React notifications for uh, using React notifications for uh, rendering not all the notifications in my app. I am also using the router DOM, it means React driver DOM library for adding up routes. I am using the route three routes. The first one is for a home, the second one is for dashboard, and the third one is for dashboard details, means happy details. Okay. Here I'm expecting an ID as a params. So let's go to our components file. This is my dashboard components file, which you can see. I am uh, using use effect for getting up the uh, states from my store. I'm using the Redux there and setting up the states. Right, updating up the states, re-rendering the function. Whenever the state changes, it will re-render. Okay and this is our habit particular habit how we show the habit right so all the components are there if you can see there is a happy details in this also i am using use params to fetch the particular details of that id okay and then setting up that habit as a state okay adding a dependency that if the params dot id changes then our use effect will also run then let's say habit detail css this is the css file for this habit detail js home.js this is the home component file where you can add a new habit or a button this is the button that is there on for the adding and habit show form handler it means it will set the habit okay this is never this is the number component in our project okay i am using the link for two links that is first one is a home and second one is a dashboard 
two weeks. This is responsible for showing all the weeks, rendering all the week days, where you can change whether the particular habit is on that is done or not. So let's go to the store now, and these are the assets. So now these are the stores. In this, what I am doing, I am creating a function which will return some actions type like habit edit, title category, some payloads, right? These are the action type which I am exporting. These are the helper JS. Like all the heavy lifting or heavy work done in the reducer, we are export creating a function there and exporting all those helpers, I mean functions from this file and directly using the reducer.js. This is the reducer file which I am using. Okay, for adding a particular habit and deleting a particular habit in status changing and updating the habits. I am <coughs> storing all the habits in the local storage so that you can when the user refresh user can also access after refreshing the state. Okay. This is my store. I'm creating the store and exporting the store by default. Okay. So this is my <coughs> complete project. If you like my project then please share and comment. Okay. I will be happy to assist you. Welcome.